I recently upgraded my Brave browser to the latest version. And I was surprised to see that even my browser has an AI assistant embedded in it. We cannot neglect AI and a lot of these are going to be embedded within the tools which we already use in our day to day life. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can leverage Codium, which is a free AI code completion tool similar to GitHub Copilot in your IntelliJ IDEA. If you're using VS Code or some other ID, Codium has support for it. Let's see how we can leverage Codium to be more productive within the ID. Let's get started. Codium comes with a free pricing model, so you can leverage Codium if you are an individual and you can just use it with some restricted features, but still it works well. I'm going to use IntelliJ IDEA, but if you're using different IDEs, you can notice that it supports VS Code, JetBrains, Visual Studio, Chrome, and in fact, Eclipse and also Android Studio as well. If you want a free version of the AI code generation tool, definitely you can try using Codium. In order to install Codium, you can install Codium from the plugins option. So if I go to plugins, there is a marketplace. If you go to the marketplace, you can search for Codium and you should be able to get Codium here. So there is also an enterprise version, but you can leverage the free version as well. So I have installed the free version. This is the community edition. This is not the ultimate edition. This is the community edition of IntelliJ IDEA. So I'm using 2023 version of uh, IntelliJ IDEA. So it just works fine. So I install the plugin and once the plugin is installed, you can notice this option here or the option here. So this is nothing but the Codium chat. So Codium has a chat option as well. I'll show you that chat option once I log in. So we need to sign up to Codium and then you have to log in to the ID with that login. So I'm clicking on login. I just signed up. You can just use your Google sign on. I just logged in using the Google sign in option. I have my Gmail ID for tech primers. I just logged in with that. Once I'm logged in, you should be able to see that. Uh, so see here, there is a chat option here. There is a context, there is profile. It shows how much it shows information about your profile, free account, etc. right? There is a chat option. We will come to this later. Now, before that, we have the Codium enabled and you can see that you can log out, you can disable Codium globally or you can disable it specifically for a particular language, right? Which is another option which I found it useful when I'm switching between different languages and property files and things like that. So you can disable it on a need basis. Now, this is a simple file. I just open an existing project. Uh, it's called greetings controller. There is a get mapping. Imagine that I have to add a post mapping, right? I'm adding a post mapping and notice that I didn't do anything, but there is some code which is like highlighted as gray below. I didn't type anything. Those are suggestions by the Codium in itself. It's just predicting that I'm going to name that particular method as greetings post. And if I do a tab, it automatically creates that method. And also if you see here, it is just returning hello. But if let's say for some reason, I don't want that, right? Uh, let me go back. I don't want this instead I want to give a different path so I'm just opening a open brace and notice that it's automatically creating a path code because it's predicting that I am going to use that particular code because that's the most probable code which a lot of folks use now if I do a tab I can get the same I'll just say maybe post or I don't know I'm, I'm just gonna say hello it, it just suggests that as well now uh, coming to the next line, I'm just waiting and you can see that it automatically predicts some things. Obviously, this prediction is not exactly perfect to what it predicted earlier. Earlier it predicted greetings post, but now it's predicting hello because we have changed the path to hello. So notice that how it is changing the context based on the path which we have created and things like that. So that's another cool feature. And another good thing is you, you notice that there is an option called as refactor, explain and doc string. Even on the old method, this shows up uh, under Codium, right? If let's say there is a method and I don't understand this particular method and I want to explain that method, let me go to a complicated method, right? Let me open um, this for example, right? It does something different, right? So let me go and click on explain option. The moment I click on explain, it opens up in the Codium chat. This is somewhat similar to the GitHub uh, Copilot chat as well. If you have used GitHub Copilot, GitHub Copilot also functions in almost similar fashion, right? So you can use the chat option to explain the code what is there here. So for example, here I'm going to ask uh, saying that 
explain me the function get time right so i'm just saying get time the moment i say get time it says that get time is a method in java method returns flux string that's what it is returning it's annotated with mapping uh, so it's doing the so it's saying that the method reads the contents of the file form.xml because that's what i'm doing if you see here form.xml and it found out that uh, and it's reading line by line using this method it then filters out blank lines using the filter which is another amazing thing it has found out that i'm filtering out blank lines based on the code i have written right and it says that and then i'm delaying each element by 400 milliseconds which is another thing which i have done right so this is how it is explaining the code if you have any production code this is this will work very well as well in explaining you what it does sometimes we don't know what are the libraries so it can do to some extent i don't know how much it can do for third party libraries which is not understandable by codium but uh, it does its job going back to our greetings controller let's say i want to refactor right so we saw explain now i want to refactor this method because i want to extract this particular string into a constant now let's try doing that so the moment i click on extract it says that input your refactor instruction or choose from the list of common options so there are existing options where you can clean up code you can check for bugs generate unit test you can also check for typos and stuff like that right i'm going to uh, type something different so i'm going to say that extract um the extract to string constant so i'm just saying that there is some string just try to extract it to a string constant the moment i say that let's see what it does right notice that it extracted the hello youtube into a separate variable and it is defined that variable here right you can also copy the code and then just place it blindly so i would have expected it to have an option to say replace I think the premium version or the enterprise version has that option but uh, yeah this is also amazing it, it is doing refactoring the code uh, as well based on our need which is another amazing feature which i felt is very useful when we want to refactor uh, huge lines of code when you have like huge files uh, you have to replace a particular thing across the board uh, without any mistake right uh, of course there are other tools in the ide itself which can do that but then you can still leverage um, codium for it there is also the option of doc string the moment you click on doc string it can generate some documents but most of the time we don't use it as appropriately so i wouldn't use it as much as i should be so i generally ignore it conveniently because explain does the job of what doc string does so i don't think it is necessary for us in order to customize the codium to have more advanced features you can use different models for it right now if you see it's using the base model or the foundational model which we saw in our gen ai video but you can flip it to use gpt4 as well right now it's closed beta so this option is not enabled i think in the enterprise version it is enabled so if you have an enterprise version of this plugin you can use it you can leverage the profile option to look at statistics on how much data you have been using so feel free to use it there's also a context option where you can define specific context on what type of instructions you want let's say for example it's already saying right you, if you want to respond back with python code always you can define that if i want to respond with java code always i can define that right so i can define all these so these are basically prompts using prompts i'm just customizing my responses for my code generation do check this plugin out it's a completely free plugin I found it interesting and it's very useful if you are using community edition of IntelliJ or Eclipse or VS Code or any ID. If you don't want to use a premium version of AI products, definitely start using free products and this is one product which you can leverage. I hope you like this particular tool. If you want me to make more videos on similar kind of tools and how to make our developer jobs more productive, do let me know in the comment section below. If you know any existing tool, do let me know that. I will also try it out and then I will try to show it to others as well so that they can leverage it too. As always, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.